uh, dislodgement, pancreatic muscle dysfunction, all this. Now, with 3D, we are going to analyze these segments. The LV has got 17 segments and for the 3D it is color coded. The 17 segments are, uh, see these are the basal segment and uh, then you have the uh, mid segments at the papillary level below that uh, are the apical segment. So basal we have six segments and uh, mid we have another six and apical four and apex is uh, one. So six plus six, twelve plus four, sixteen plus one. Okay. And how you uh, in three D it's a color coded. We start with the basal segment one is the anterior basal segment. Then go to the septum two, three, four, five, six. Then the seven starts with the mid segment. So seven, eight, nine, ten, uh, eleven, twelve. So, and these views are familiar uh, with 2D. This is a four chamber view. This is a two chamber view. This is a long axis view. So you have the, which are the walls here? This is inferoceptal. This is anterolateral. And this is anterior wall. This is the inferior wall. And this is anteroceptal. And this is inferolateral. So between these two views, you are the septum, full septum and the full lateral. So if you want to study the septum, this is anteroceptal and this is inferoceptal. And this is anterolateral and this is inferolateral. Okay, so segment by segment we are going to analyze and I show examples also. And we'll study one case where 3D has made a difference instead of the OT, where uh, 2D missed and uh, but very important unless you have a good 2d view you can't get a good 3d view so when you're doing different modalities are there uh, for 3d uh, so these are images from the machines we have is ie 33 from philips so I, i'm going to show uh, the philips views so the most commonly used view is the explain view and this is very convenient you assess multiple LV segments in a display. So what is this view is? This is a reference uh, view that is a four chamber view and if you look at the 90 degree view orthogonal uh, view is uh, that is two chamber view and if you rotate this 90 to 120 you get the long axis view together. So easy to image, uh, especially in the pre, uh, after induction, uh, before the surgeon puts the incision, you get uh, roughly around 10 minutes. You have to finish your 2D and 3D examination within 10 minutes. So these views are important. So by default, uh, you get it is a 90 degree. You can adjust it. Uh, if you want a commercial view, you put it at 60. Or you want a uh, uh, long axis view, put it 120 to 140. So that's how you do it. And you can put the color flow Doppler there and to find out uh, valve, assess the valve also in different angles. Now coming to, for a 3D analysis, you need a full uh, LV 3D volume acquisition. 